everybody, it's Heather from Cottontail Crafts. Um, I have another video of what I got made this week. Um, so the first thing I made was um, on Robin's channel a couple of videos ago. <clears throat> she shared these really cute bunnies and I had to like make them right away. So I made a green, a mustard, I made two in tan, I made a blue and a lilac, I made a yellow and a red. I made a teal and a gray. I made a light pink and a brown. And then I made, um, I don't even know what, I think that's mango. And then that's a bunny made with the pom-pom yarn. So what's that, 14 bunnies? I don't know around 14 bunnies that I made so cute I think I'm gonna make more because I want to have a good chunk of bunnies for my market and then I want to make some bunnies for um, Lisa's floral shop so yeah I think I'm gonna make more um, I have a market this uh, February 11th, um, depending on the weather, it's been snowing for two days straight and like we have gotten a lot of snow, a lot of snow. Okay, so the next thing I did was I did do the little dino in the acrylic yarn for y'all. He's so cute, but I'm not selling this. This is going to be kept for my stash. Um, I might just keep some different size dinos on my table um, so I can have something for you guys to look at in the background. So I made a little dino in acrylic, and this is all from Jade. Um, the bunnies, they were... Darling Maple Designs, and it's a free tutorial on YouTube. But I will link all these in the description below. So let's put him in line with the other dinosaurs. He's so tiny compared to the rest of them. <clears throat> he is. Okay, so... The next thing I did was, um, I still have not been chosen to be a pattern tester. I've been trying, I've kind of slowed down in the applying because I just feel like I'm, I'm not gonna get picked. But somebody on Instagram must have seen one of my um, YouTube videos where I had said that I have never been picked to test a pattern. Um, I'll link her channel in the description below. I know it's Gloria underscore something. I'm so bad at that. Um, I will link it in the description below. I can't check <laughs> the channel because I'm on my phone. But um, she messaged me on Instagram and asked me if I wanted to pattern test something that she wants to release fairly quickly. So it was um, a pattern for a little Valentine bumblebee. Isn't it cute? So I made four of them because I don't plan on having a lot of Valentine's Day stuff. 
um, at my markets. So I made four and I'll take them to the market on the 11th and see if I sell them. I'll probably sell them for $8. Um, they're pretty tiny, so very quick to pump out. And my little $8 to $10 bin is getting quite full. Okay, so the next thing I did, um, if you remember a couple of videos ago, I did Sparkles the Unicorn. And I love how she turned out. Um, I want to say with a couple of days after she re released Sparkles the Unicorn, um, she did a modification, which was this feller. So I made him. Then she came out with another modification. And of course I had to make it. And I really love how he turned out. I guess he's a dinosaur and I did him in green and blue and I did his eyes in blue. He kind of reminds me of the Mad Max movies like Beyond Thunderdome, like Mel Gibson and Tina Turner. So I had to, of course, make Tina Turner to the Mel Gibson. So. I did another one and I did it in light pink and dark pink and I did bright pink eyes. I just think these are so cute. I think kids are going to love these, but I think I'm only going to make the two and uh, we'll see. But. I do love how they turned out. So I made two dinosaurs. So then I um, joined All From Jade's patron and I was able to get a free pattern. So I picked her land turtle. And the first one I did was this one. And I'm not a fan of leaving holes and then stitching back in the holes. That's how the legs are done. I'm just not a fan of it. I don't know. I just, I plowed through it and I did it. So then I'm like, well, I'll do another one. So I did, I did another one. And I do, I do like the look of them. You know, they do take me longer than the sea turtle. Um, but I'm just not a fan of the legs. And... I don't think I could crochet the legs, set them aside, and then crochet them in like I did with the dinosaur. Only because of how she did the legs. She's got slip stitches like on the inner part of the legs, I think, to keep them like closer to the body. So I don't think I could do them a different way. So, um,. I don't know how many of these land turtles I will actually make, um, but it's nice to give customers different options, so um, I decided to make another one. So I did this one. They are cute, like I'm not going to lie, they're very cute. Um, I'm sure the more I do them, the quicker and easier they'll get. Um, but I don't know. I, I, I like the sea turtle better. I really do. So then, um, 
my last video I put out a couple of days ago, I actually did a tutorial on painting um, the backs of my safety eyes. So I made this turtle and I used the eyes that I painted so I could show what the plushie looks like with, with the safety eyes. And I think it looks amazing. Um, I think I did seven sets of eyes um, in different colors. And one of the land turtles I did the um, painted safety eyes too. And I think they are gorgeous. So if you want to see how I did those, um, then go back and watch that uh, painting tutorial. But, um, so I got four turtles done. I got three land turtles and one sea turtle. And I'll just show you like another set of the eyes that I did because they really are so pretty. Like, isn't that gorgeous? Love how they turned out. Love, love, love how they turned out. Okay, so I still have a little bit of time to make some more stuff, so I'm probably gonna try to get a few more things done and then I will be back to show you what else I made. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. So I decided to fire up my embroidery machine and I need to make some stuff that I'm low on stock um, that I sold out of at my Christmas markets. And I only had, I think, three of these left in stock, so I wanted to make some more. Um, these are poop bag dispensers. So you just, it's a zipper pouch. Um, it's like an applique. So you would like, Put down your white vinyl it does an outline stitch and then you cut around it and then it sews all the details on it and the poop bag comes out of his butt so i wanted to get some of these restocked so i got kind of looks like a snoopy so i made him and i usually have one bag that displays the bag coming out just so it helps visualize that it's a poop bag dispenser. Um, so the second one I did was this one here. And it's a little Frenchy. So I did that one. Then I did another Frenchy. And I did um, gray and light blue. And I like to match the zipper with parts of the embroidery. So I did a burgundy zipper, burgundy embroidery, blue zipper, blue embroidery. Um, the ones with the dogs, I want to say they take me about half an hour to run on the machine. Um, these ones, they, the ones I got to show you next, they take a lot longer but that's just because the stitch count is a lot more. Uh, this one probably takes the longest. Um, it's a poop and it says who let the logs out <laughs> and then the bags come out of his mouth. So, and the poop, the poop ones were really popular. Um, I actually sold quite a few of those last year. Um, I also restocked these ones and it's a poop and it says oh crap and look at the flies like aren't they cute I just think they're so cute so I got that one it says oh crap and then this one says oh shit <laughs> So I matched the zipper with the lettering because on this one I did 
purple lettering, purple zipper. So it's fun to mix, mix and match. So I got that one done. And then the last one I've got done was another poop. <clears throat> and it says, oh crap, and I did it in yellows. But I just love the flies. I think the flies are so cute. So, so cute. So yeah, it's been it's been snowing all weekend. Um, like we did not leave the house at all. It started snowing Friday night, and it is Sunday evening, and it is still snowing. It's still coming down. Um, I hope the plow goes by sometime tonight so I can get to work tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I hate winter. I really do. I really, really do. I don't mind the cold. I just hate getting so much snow. And we've gotten so much snow. It's crazy. But anyway, that's what I got done for the week. Uh... I think there was two days I didn't crochet at all. Uh, there was one week my wrists were bothering me pretty bad. Probably the day that I did 11 bunnies. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I did like almost 11 bunnies, like back to back to back. So the next day I didn't crochet at all. But um, I gotta slowly start building back up my embroidery stock so so I got six poop bags um, I've I got a market on the 11th of February I have a market I'm signed up for May, March 16th and then I'm signed up for another one on May 18th so I have three markets booked and paid for um, a couple markets I couldn't get into because they told me they already had another crochet vendor, so I missed out on those. Um, I don't mind doing markets where there's other crochet people. That doesn't bother me at all. Um, the chances of you all having the exact same thing, it's pretty slim. But um, people must be complaining about it. And I think that's why they're implementing new rules, I guess. So... I'm at work a lot during the week, so I don't have time to be, like I'm not lucky enough to be the first one to apply to a market, you know, so I have a feeling I ain't going to be able to get into a lot of markets that I did last year. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can get into some. Um, yeah, it's a bummer. But. I'm going next Sunday. We'll see how that goes. I don't imagine it'll be busy. Um, excited to see if my bunnies sell and those little Valentine bees that I did. Um, so now I got some pricing to do. Um, yeah, so that's it for this week. So thank you to everybody who's liked, shared, subscribed. I really appreciate it. And we hope to see you soon. Bye.